Hey, what's up, people? It's Wit Meridian 4 again. Uh, Frontline Tactics, they updated it on Steam. And so, I am going to do a small thing. Yeah, there's no connection down there. Um, starting again on it. Uh, going to the barracks to show you what I normally do. you got to retire the units to get the credits because small arms and uh, the uh, yeah submachine guns, I don't like. They don't do enough damage, they don't do enough anything, except for uh, small arms. Uh, gonna be renaming these guys, from David Williams here, because you can. More like XCOM again. Uh, these guys gonna be named, this one is... We'll see. Uh, probably gonna be named after people from my uh, story that's never gonna be finished. Uh, this one, probably gonna end up uh, Raven. The other one's probably going to be Balthazar. Yeah, this one. Raven Upshaw. And the other one you'd seen last time. Um, Anthony Hill here is going to just become Balthazar V. Um, Balthazar is the sniper because, well, sneak preview. He's the sniper, I'm sorry. But yeah, um... Small arms comes with a grenade, medic is uh, overpriced and not really useful, close quarters comes with two grenades, and those are flash grenades, and not really useful because it starts out with a knife. Sniper is a sniper, use it. Um, and this one, uh, gonna go over the rest of them. Uh, Submachine gunners, they can hit multiple enemies, they can do a firing arc. Machine guns, do a firing arc, do it a little bit better, uh, but are slower. Uh, rifles, people can counterattack, but they do more damage than both the machine and the submachine gun. So, I'm choosing rifles, though, uh, submachine guns are faster. And, uh, close quarters, no. Close quarters is never good for a first, uh, first thing. Rifles, pretty good. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Pretty good. Uh... There, like I said, there was an update uh, making it actually a lot more fair, making the game a lot easier to play. i uh, going to check armor, no armor has not been brought down. Nothing's really been brought down. Um, and it's not really worth it for him until you can unlock about two, uh, two guns, because you see the uh, upgrade there. So, I'm going to upgrade the sniper's gun. And yes, you have to click on rock. Um, no real change with everything else. Just with the uh, just with the missions, really. Options are still there. You got the resolution language and the reset game still up at the top. Um, I'm not going to change anything because I don't think I feel I need to. And shop is uh, you know where you buy all your credits and new soldiers and everything, but my internet's slow right now, so I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna go to mission select. Mission select. I'm just gonna show you one, maybe two missions. And, uh... I'm not gonna claim that I've actually got the hang of it, and this is actually a pretty good mission to start on. 1855. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, there's 18.5 and 19 for the missions at the very beginning, and it scales up from there. It actually feels like you're getting more rewards for uh, doing things now. I can actually kind of recommend this game. Which makes me happy, because I actually kind of wanted to recommend this game, honestly. Okay, yeah, it's the... Every time you re uh, reset your characters and reset everything, it's going to have the uh, tutorials pop up. Every single time. So if you want to read them, you can read them by pausing the video and all that good stuff. But I'm not going to have, or I'm not going to uh, read them for you. And turn, and then move your other characters. Hey, new people spotted. Awesome. 
Now I'm in cover, and in cover your shots do more damage. But if they're in cover, of course, they're going to take the same amount of damage. One shot kill. Awesome. New enemy spotted. Okay. Okay. And another new enemy spotted. He's just standing in the middle of the freaking road. Uh, weapon and damage. Tells you what or how your weapon's best served. And now I'm just looking to see where I can stand. Maybe be in cover and be able to shoot these people. Because the sniper rifles do better at mid-range, so do uh, machine guns, or heavy machine guns and rifles. 40 damage, because I wasn't in cover, it would have been 50. If I could have been medium in cover. Yeah, he was just in the absolute wrong spot. Um, just ending turn, because this guy's not going to fire at me. Okay. Sniper's going over here. Long range on this, but oh well. Because you can actually uh, up your long range as a sniper. And uh, I killed four people, I get more money. Mission uh, credits. Survivors, you get more, uh, these are all just the bonus stuffs, plus the base mission credits, and I got 25 five. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. The base mission is the mission credits and, you know, the difficulty, which now, the credits go up with the difficulty. Um, the survivors and how many people you killed are your bonus credits, so... Try to keep everyone alive, and you've got to kill everybody in the mission, so you're automatically going to get that. Uh, please tell me. I haven't gotten better at the uh, selecting deploy before deploying my units. And here's going to be the last mission I do for you guys, because otherwise it will be too long of a video, and uh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to deploy the rifled person in the front, and the sniper just behind him, because they're not going to be on the beach. This is a very easy mission after all. And now it explains exactly what I did about cover. Oh, wow. Hey, what do you know? This guy's gonna die. Also, crossfire mechanic, if it's between you and a buddy, you can actually get extra damage. That's about it. Last time I think I was complaining about that mechanic. Because the enemy was able to make much more use out of it than I was. Foul V. Gotta be able to shoot before any uh, enemies are seen, so. I don't have Overwatch yet. You gotta unlock that as a perk. And the perks are extremely expensive still in this game. I haven't shown them off. Um, I suppose I will later on, of course. Sniper and cover, good. Yeah, I'm going to put him over here so he can spot just a little bit easier. Still no new enemies. That's kind of troubling. But I know they're all up here in this, uh, in this area. I just can't see them yet. So let's watch for them. Ah, there they are. And I'm not stupid enough to shoot him, am I? No. Not with the both of them being there. And not with me being at long range. Gonna take out the one in the back. Now, 
gotta move. Uh, gotta move kind of up, but not too far to us to be spotted. Is he in medium range? He is in medium range, but uh, that's not going to kill him. Plus, I need the spot, so... There we go. Oh, guy's inside, huh? Also, gotta love the counterattack sometimes. Okay, now I can just run up. Because I know that there's a sniper on the loose, and he's gonna be trying to shoot me. I'm still trying to actually see him. Run over here. Can I? Yeah, I can run over there. Uh -oh. oh, I see you now. And, ooh, that's a good amount of damage for long range. I should have taken the long range damage thing and cover. Guy was stupid enough to shoot at my sniper. Hey, I got an achievement. Um, that achievement's actually just go on a few missions and you'll unlock it. So, nothing big. But, uh, shows how many times I restarted the game after not being satisfied. Um, I'll show you my unlock. Um, and there's uh, the first low mission. Here's another low mission going to start out, and uh, the it's debatable on what's more important. So I think I choose uh, the new mission. Anyway, gotta go. Later.